Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I would like to talk about Beyonce indirectly talking about her retirement in her interview with Vogue, the December issue. No, she did not use the R word because, well, that will break the internet. So she was very subtle and this is not, in my opinion, a complete retirement. It's just sort of her no longer actively putting out more work and focusing on what she's built so far because she has artists under her and she has other ventures within the industry, music and fashion industry that, you know, I'm sure she will continue to manage. However, I believe that she put out this statement to let people know not to um, continuously expect more work from her as she used to put out and this is kind of like the Nicki Minaj retirement where she's retired however she still does some work in the industry here and there because you know they have other things in the works that were in place and um, they have to be attended to basically Music is still going to be a part of their lives, but they are retired if you compare it to how they were previously working. If you listen carefully to the tone of what she said in her, the December Vogue issue, you would see what I'm talking about. It kind of has a tone of finality and completeness to her work where she talked about a lot of things from her time coming into the industry, the number of times that she's put out work, the length of time that she's had to work consistently, the body of work that she's put out and her reasons for doing all of that. It has a tone of, okay, I feel like I have completed my mission here and it's time for me to back off a little bit. And I truly believe that this is a way of her to announce her retirement without you know making it into a big fuss because it will be if she had just said that i'm retiring from the music industry and that statement will not be accurate anyway because she would still be involved one way or another in the music industry i'm gonna read what she said in the this particular vogue issue december 2020 and you would see what i'm saying so she said it will be difficult to experience life in a pandemic and the current social unrest and not be changed. I have learned that my voice is clear when I am still. I truly cherish this time with my family and my new goal is to slow down and shed stressful things from my life. I came into the music industry at 15 years old and grew up with the world watching and I have put out projects non-stop. I released Lemonade during the Formation World Tour, gave birth to twins, performed at Coachella, directed Homecoming, went on another world tour with Jay, then Black is King, all back to back. It's been heavy and hectic. I've spent a lot of time focusing on building my legacy and representing my culture the best way I know how. Now I've decided to give myself permission to focus on my joy. Something cracked open inside of me right after giving birth to my first daughter. From that point on, I truly understood my power and motherhood has been my biggest inspiration. It became my mission to make sure she lived in a world where she feels truly seen and valued. I was also deeply inspired by my trip to South Africa with my family. And after having my son, Sir Carter, I felt it was important to uplift and praise our boys and to assure that they grew up with enough films, children's books, and music that promote emotional intelligence, self-value, and our rich history. That's why the film is dedicated to him. So those were Beyonce's words. It definitely has a tone of completeness to me, which tells me that she is stepping away from actively making music. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think this is a semi-retirement that she's announced indirectly? Or am I reaching for the stars? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.